Hallelujah, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. I'm Father Jonathan Rowe. I'm the parish priest at St. Michael's Anglican Church, the church in Kenmount Terrace. And I want to thank you for joining us for this service of morning prayer on Monday, the 27th of April. I'm going to light a candle. You can do the same if you like. We'll light candles to symbolize the prayers of the saints, the prayers of the scattered church ascending into heaven, even when we can't gather physically for worship. We'll take a few minutes to calm ourselves, to prepare to pray. And when we're ready, the service of morning prayer will begin on page 6 in the Book of Common Prayer. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Alleluia, Christ is risen. O come, let us worship. Alleluia. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, O oh, that he would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with that generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear in my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. O come, let us worship. Alleluia. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 25, beginning on page 358. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. My God, I have put my trust in thee. O oh, let me not be confounded, neither let mine enemies triumph over me. For all they that hope in thee shall not be ashamed, but such as transgress without a cause shall be put to confusion. Show me thy ways, O Lord, and teach me thy paths. Lead me forth in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. In thee is my hope all the day long. Call to remembrance, O Lord, thy tender mercies, and thy loving kindnesses, which have been ever of old. O remember not the sins and offenses of my youth, but according to thy mercy think thou upon me, O Lord, for thy goodness. Gracious and righteous is the Lord, Therefore will he teach sinners in the way. Them that are meek shall he guide in judgment, and such as are gentle, them shall he teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth, unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, be merciful unto my sin, for it is great. 
What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the land. The secret of the Lord is for them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Mine eyes are ever looking unto the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn thee unto me, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and in misery. Relieve thou the sorrows of my heart. O oh, bring thou me out of my troubles. Look upon my adversity and misery, and forgive me all my sins. Consider, mine enemies, how many they are, and they bear a tyrannous hate against me. O oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be confounded, for I have put my trust in thee. Let perfectness and righteous dealing preserve me, for my hope is in thee. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson is written in the book Exodus, the 18th chapter, beginning at the 13th verse. On the morrow Moses stood, sat to judge the people, and the people stood about Moses from morning till evening. When Moses' father-in-law saw all that he was doing for the people, he said, What is this that you are doing for the people? Why do you sit alone, and all the people stand about you from morning till evening? And Moses said to his father-in-law, Because the people come to me to inquire of God. When they have a dispute, they come to me, and I decide between a man and his neighbor, and I make them know the statutes of God and his decisions. Moses' father-in-law said to him, What you are doing is not good. You and the people with you will wear yourselves out, for the thing is too heavy for you. You are not able to do it alone. Listen now to my voice, I will give you counsel, and God be with you. You shall represent the people before God, and bring their cases to God. And you shall teach them the statutes and the decisions, and make them know the way in which they must walk, and what they must do. Moreover, choose able men from all the people, such as fear God, men who are trustworthy and who hate a bribe. And place such men over the people as rulers of thousands, of hundreds, of fifties, and of tens. And let them judge the people at all times. Every great matter they shall bring to you, but any small matter they shall decide themselves. So it will be easier for you, and they will bear the burden with you. If you do this, and God so commands you, then you will be able to endure, and all this people also will go to their place in peace. So Moses gave heed to the voice of his father-in-law, and did all that he had said. Moses chose able men out of all Israel, and made them heads over the people, rulers of thousands, of hundreds, of fifties, and of tens. And they judged the peoples at all times. Hard cases they brought to Moses, but any small matter they decided themselves. Then Moses let his father-in-law depart, and he went his way to his own country. Here endeth the first lesson. The service of morning prayer continues with the, with the Te Deum on page 7. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. 
the noble army of martyrs praise thee. The Holy Church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The Father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true, and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God, in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints, in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. The second lesson is written in the Gospel according to St. Matthew, the third chapter beginning at the first verse. In those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he who was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah when he said, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Now John wore a garment of camel's hair and a leather girdle around his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. Then went out to him Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region about the Jordan, and they were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Here endeth the second lesson. The service of morning prayer continues with the Benedictus on page 9. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham, that he would grant us, that we being delivered out of the hands of our enemies might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him, all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, 
the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and evermore mightily defend us. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Almighty God, who hast given thine only Son to be unto us both a sacrifice for sin and also an example of godly life, give us grace that we may always most thankfully receive that his inestimable benefit, and also daily endeavor ourselves to follow the blessed steps of his most holy life. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Protect and prosper, O Lord, all those who labor at tasks of danger and difficulty, especially our medical, our, our medical workers and all other essential workers, that they may be preserved in safety and health, and grant that knowing the dangers which beset them, they may ever take thought for one another and be sustained by a sure trust in thee. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who art afflicted in the afflictions of thy people, regard with thy tender compassion those in anxiety and distress. Bear their sorrows and their cares, supply all their manifold needs, and help both them and us to put our whole trust and confidence in thee. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers at this time for all those who are in need of prayer, those who have particularly asked us to pray for them, and those whom the Spirit of God has put it into our hearts to pray for. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Again, thank you for praying with us this morning. I hope that these daily services of morning and evening prayer 
are an opportunity for you to draw closer to Christ, an opportunity for you to find peace and calm and stillness in a world that is currently very full of fear and anxiety. If so, I hope you'll take a moment to subscribe to our, to our YouTube channel, to like this video, maybe even to share this video with somebody else who could appreciate it. I hope that you'll also join us for evening prayer tomorrow evening at 4.30 Newfoundland time. Until then, be good, God bless, and take care of each other. Bye-bye.